Managing SSH private keys on a public host. I have a web server which is running on a private subnet in AWS VPC, let us call it worker. I can access the worker VM through a bastion VM which is in the same VPC but in a public subnet. Then, I have another VM public underscore host in a public subnet in a different VPC which listening to the worker VM through SSH tunnel. In order to make the SSH tunnel, I need to have the private keys of bastion and worker on the public underscore host dot i am not security expert but i guess it is not the best practice to have private keys on the public vm can someone please suggest me an approach solve this weak point i was thinking to write the listener with the private keys included in a go app then compile it and deploy the compiled binaries on the public underscore host would it be considered a more secure approach I assume you mean that public underscore host must contain the public private key pair of an identity that's allowed to log into Bastion and Worker. As mentioned in the comment on your question, it's unlikely you'd have the private keys of those other systems on the client system. To address your question, there are a few things you can do to reduce risk or as alternatives, ensure the client's keys have a passphrase defined. Now, nobody can use those keys without knowledge of the passphrase, even if they Steal the keys. Store the keys elsewhere, e.g. on an individual user's system, and use SSH. Authentication forwarding. Anyone who has access to public underscore VM as root while you're logged in will be able to use those keys since they're accessed via a pipe socket in TMP that root can read, write, but non-root users won't, and the keys simply won't be available at all when you're not actively logged in. On the destination host, configure the SSH server to restrict exactly what those keys can do. For example, you can force a particular key to run a specific command instead of whatever the user requests, or disallow SFTP, while still allowing SSH. This can reduce the risk to the server if the client's key is compromised. 